Good morning, everyone, and welcome to today's Daily Word. Today it is Thursday, February 10th. Glad you could join me for our few minutes together as we continue our conversation in our Daily Word and what it means for us and how it affects our lives. Um, I'm at home a bit this morning, just getting a couple things done. I'm scheduling a couple of things um, that I need to get done, and then I'm going to head to church and practice um, a couple of Zoom things that we're going to be using during the Lenten season. So um, hopefully all that will go as we have planned. So um, our scripture for this morning comes from the Gospel of Matthew, chapter 11, verses 28 through 30. I've chosen this morning, first of all, I'm going to read from the message version, and then I'll reference it in the New Revised Standard Version. But from the message version, Eugene Peterson's version of Scripture, we hear these words. Jesus said, Are you tired, worn out, burned out on religion? Come to me. Get away with me, and you'll recover your life. I'll show you how to take a real test. Walk with me and work with me. Watch how I do it. Learn the unforced rhythms of grace. I won't lay anything heavy or ill-fitting on you. Keep company with me and you'll learn to live freely and lightly. So that's the message version. And I really like the message version of this text. But just to give you a bit of context and words that you're familiar with, probably, um, we hear these words from the New Revised Standard. Come to me, all you that are weary and are carrying heavy burdens, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am gentle and humble in heart, and you will find rest for your souls. For my yoke is easy and my burden is light. And so we hear these words of Jesus um, giving comfort, giving assurance, giving those who would hear um, a break, if you will, a chance to look at life in a bit of a different way, a chance to think about how it is that God meets us where we are and what that might mean for us. So I would venture to guess that in all of our lives, and my life included, there are probably times that we have felt out of rhythm, out of rhythm in our spiritual life or out of rhythm just in our, our daily life, you know, when, when we lose sleep or when we lose track of days or lose track of time, you know, we, we get out of rhythm. And it seems to me that when we are out of rhythm, um, then we lose the markers of the day. You know, we lose track of time, we lose track of space. On Sunday afternoon when I was at Dorothy Love, we had worship at 2.30, and it was really good, and folks there really enjoyed um, what we did. Jen played the piano great, and I think I preached a good sermon and sang a, a really good song. But there were a couple ladies who walked by. When we were done, I was standing there uh, talking to a couple folks who I know well, and a couple ladies walked by and said, Oh my, I forgot it was Sunday. I missed you. And so that happens to us, right? We, we lose track. We get out of rhythm in life. And I think that happens in our spiritual life as well, right? We, we get out of rhythm sometimes. We don't have any spiritual markers, if you will. Um, we don't pray. We don't sing or listen to songs. We don't pray at the end of our day. And when that happens to us, when we get out of this spiritual rhythm, uh, then we lose sight, too, of this idea of where God's at and how God moves in our life. You know, just the other day, I was in my clergy meeting. It was on Tuesday. It was a rather long day. And I ended my day for two hours in my uh, monthly clergy meeting. I'm not complaining that it was two hours, just that it went until five o'clock. And so we kind of go around the circle and share. And of course, they know that I'm having surgery on Monday. Um, surgery that, at least as of last night, isn't until 1.30 Monday afternoon, which is a bit of a disappointment. I was hoping I was hoping to be first, but you know, not everybody can be first and other people need surgery too. So it is what it is. And I'll take my turn 
when I'm getting there. But we had this conversation and then I said to my group, you know, I just want to get this done as much as I'm not looking forward. I just want to get this done because I want my life back. Have you ever said that? I just want to get this done because I want my life back. Jesus responds to us and responds to us in this way in our life with this text. And I think it's important for us when we feel lost at sea, when we've lost our rhythms, our spiritual rhythms, our, our connection with God. Jesus says, come get away with me and you'll recover your life. I'll show you how to take a real rest. Walk with me and work with me. Watch how I do it. Learn the unforced rhythms of grace. I won't lay anything heavy or ill-fitting on you. Keep company with me and you'll learn to live freely and lightly. Now, I know that in all of our lives, we often carry burdens with us. Some of the burdens are ours and we just have to carry them, right? We just have to carry them. They, they're part of who we are. Some of the burdens we carry are not our burdens, you know, and we choose to carry them because, well, maybe somebody in our family or in our circle of, of people aren't carrying their load. And so we think we have to carry their burden. Um, Jesus reminds us, in our lives that we have to find in us our spiritual rhythms. We have to pray. We have to be in scripture. We have to, you know, sing, listen to music on the radio, um, sing our favorite hymn, whether we sound good at it or not. Um, to remind ourselves, you know, that we need an anchor in life. We need an anchor with inside of us that we can hold on to. And I've been struggling with that a little bit, you know, looking forward to the surgery. I'm thinking about all it is that I have to do and reminding myself of this anchor that I need and that I have and that Yesterday, when I was just feeling stressed out about the whole thing, for some reason, you know, I've got a lot to do to get ready and things I want to get accomplished today and tomorrow, especially. Um, I had to remind myself that for me and for you, um, we have to find this rhythm of grace in our lives. You know, for me, you know, it really is about about this daily word thing. It's about singing. It's about um, prayer. You know, I try to do really good at that. I try to pray in the morning. And I try to pray at night, especially at night. I don't always succeed like I should. But when I do, when I'm, when I'm, when I'm anchored, if you will, um, it makes a difference. And so I would hope that in our lives, in the days to come, you know, in all the things that are going to beg for our attention in life. That we'll find in us whatever it takes. Um, whatever it takes to find rhythm. Now, Lori, you should just sing. You should just sing, Lori, at the top of your lungs. Um, and we, we're going to have good songs this week too, I promise. Um, so, so these rhythms, Jesus says, look, what we often need in our lives is come and get away and find rest for our souls. We, we sometimes sing it in church and you will find rest for your soul. For Jesus says, my yoke is easy and my burden is light. So friends, together, here's the important thing for me. You know, today is daily word number 449. And we've been doing this together a long time. This, to me, um, this is part of my rhythm, part of what we do together. And it keeps me anchored in our life 
and in my life together with all of you. And I hope it does. I hope it helps you stay anchored as well um, in this conversation for our daily word. And so I'm going to count on you next week, um, probably a couple of days at least, to stay anchored without me. Uh, we, we'll see what that looks like and how I feel. But um, we'll, we'll get there together. And um, we'll just pray for each other like we always do. So thank you for joining me. Number 449 today, Beth, right, 449. And know of God's grace. Know of this grace. You know, this grace, this rhythm of grace that is God's presence in our life. Know of God's love that surrounds you. Know of my love for all of you. And I always look forward to seeing you tomorrow morning at 10 o'clock. Have a great day.